Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. I uh, consider this video to be a quick little unexpected update, uh, sort of interrupting the little discussion we're having on economics and investing and jobs and the economy and the markets and, and whatnot, right? While I was uh, making the videos uh, on the economic stuff, personal finance stuff, uh, my camera died on me. So um, I wasn't really prepared for it. I should have been, I guess, prepared for it. I should have had uh, done some research and had a camera uh, in the queue for me to get just in case my camera died. But uh, it's something I wasn't expecting. And what I ended up doing was um, when I noticed that it was it was dying, um, I shot a little quick little update video just mentioning that uh, my camera is dying so there might be a little delay in putting out uh, more videos because as you know or you might know I've moved to a smaller little town so my access to places where I can get cameras uh, camcorders uh, was limited so I would have probably had to get it online but I was lucky enough to find one place um, I went to four different places I found a place where it had the camera that I as soon as my camera died I did some research and decided on the camera that I wanted to get sort of upgrading the system a little bit right uh, and I was able to find the camera in one store and it was an open box and was missing the power adapter and one other unit um, so I ended up getting an amazing deal on the camera that we're shooting right now um, and I was okay with missing the power adapter because I looked into it and the power adapter that I have for the camera that died fits the camera that I just got, right? It's the same brand. I'm sort of sticking with the same brand because uh, um, I'm happy with it. Uh, I know how to use it. I'm familiar with the software. The menu system for the camcorder is a little different. A lot more options in this new upgraded version. Um, but it ended up working out well. I, I was expecting to be delayed for a week or so, um, at least a week or so, because I was expecting to have to order it online and wait for it to be delivered and play around with it. Um, but in the last uh, three days or so, a couple of days or so, I was able to get this camera. Um, I played around with it a little bit. There will be, you know, there will be a little bit of experimentation with this thing because I don't know um, all the little knickknacks um, with this camera. Uh, one thing that I've noticed already, the um, view, uh, what it captures is a lot bigger. So I'll have to adjust uh, my thinking and stuff like this. Um, so this is the quick little update. Uh, we got a new camera. And um, for those of you who've been around for a long time, if you wanna know um, the camera that I shot with, because what I did um, back in, I guess 2011, 2012, when we started uh, series four of the language of mathematics, where we're talking about units and ratios and we're gonna get into functions and uh, graphs and we talked a little bit about zero and infinity and we're gonna talk a lot more about zero and infinity. That's sort of the topics of discussion I've decided to cover with series four of the language of mathematics. And as you can guess, uh, we have a fair bit more to go in that. Uh, but in the intro video to series four of the language of mathematics, what I did, uh, now I mentioned that I had just upgraded my camera, right? And I showed you the previous camera that I had and the new sound setup. I showed you what I'm doing with the new sound setup and stuff like this. Um, so I figured I'd show you the camera that we just, you know, that died on me. And uh, I, I looked on, um, on my channel and it ends up that we ended up shooting, uh, or I ended up uploading uh, 240 plus videos with this camera. And, um, you know, I'm not promoting anything. I don't, you know, I'm not brand loyal, really, to a certain degree. Um, but I do want to give credit where credit is due. And um, just in case you're curious, and I've had a few people ask me, what it is that I'm shooting with and the sound that I'm recording with and stuff like this. And just to, just if you're curious, the, the sound that I'm recording with, uh, I'm very low budget uh, with the things I do. I, I'm pretty frugal uh, when it comes to certain aspects of my life. Uh, basically what I end up doing in general is uh, 
doing research before I buy something. And when I buy something, I try to make the most out of it, right? I sort of push it to the max. So as far as the sound goes, all I'm recording with is a little lapel mic, okay? And this thing costs me, you know, people have asked me, you know, what am I recording with and stuff? This thing costs me with shipping because I buy it online. The, the first version I bought, uh, I bought it in the store, a little lapel mic, and then after that, I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, so I found a substitute lapel mic. So I buy these ones uh, online, okay, from eBay, and I buy them for including shipping anywhere between fifteen to twenty dollars, right? And it's a little recorder, a little handheld recorder that I plug it into, and that's when I'm recording with the sound. When I'm during the editing process, I run a couple of minor filters just to. Uh, I do a little de humming, and I take do EQ filter. I'm not 100 percent sure what it does. I found this. I did a little research and. Um, looked at some videos of how to do this and it sort of takes out the the edge on the sound I guess so I run a couple of little small filters but that's the sound that I'm recording with and um, if you want to know the camera I've been recording with uh, the last 240 plus videos that we've uploaded in the last six years uh, they were recorded with a Canon uh, Vixia HF M30 okay this little guy and this is what i've uh this was my sort of partner here let me turn it on for you and uh, as you can tell here i'll show you the screen i don't know if you can see it oh, what does that say oh yeah no memory card i took the memory cards and put them in this one so i'm recording on sd memory cards um i re don't really record on the on the camera's memory card um sort of save that i guess uh, but this is what's going on with the screen. Okay, you can see little lines there. And when this happened, uh, I was sort of in panic mode, I guess. <laughs> Not panic mode, but um, I was uh, I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to continue. The, you know, there was going to be a long delay. So what I ended up doing was um, shooting a video with this. Uh, exact almost exactly what I'm telling you right now regarding the update uh, with the lines on it I, I think I'll upload it here so you can see it more uh, more closely but basically with the lines appearing and I sort of did a update just mentioning oh, oh camera is dying there's gonna be a delay in the discussion and whatnot right um, so this thing uh, served me well or served us well uh, we got a fair bit of use out of it and and I walked around town a lot. It's done outside shooting, indoor shooting, low light shooting, uh, very sunny uh, shooting outdoors and stuff like this. Um, so that's 240 videos, 240 plus videos we got out of that. Hopefully we get a little bit more out of this one. And um, what I've done, the video previous to this one, uh, the one that just died, I was shooting again it was a canon but i was shooting a little mini dv tapes right so every time that i'm having to get new material i'm sort of upgrading learning more um and i'm going to be playing around with this camera a fair bit i guess with the different settings and and whatnot and uh just to give you let you know the camera that i ended up buying um it's a canon again it's a canon uh vixia uh h f uh g20 okay it's a discon discontinued camera so that's one reason it was uh discounted as well um so canon vixia hf g20 that's the camera that you're seeing right now that you're that we're shooting on right now um i'm not a videographer i don't know all the settings uh, definitely not i did i read some articles watched some videos read some of the manual uh to get this thing going and i did a little quick transfer and hopefully everything should work out fine transferring this and uploading this um but if you if there's anybody you guys know this camera well um from what i've read with all the reviews it's supposed to be pretty good um but if you know any little tricks and little settings that i should do uh let me know and i'll play around with it more uh, right now, I'm shooting in auto mode. I changed a couple of settings um, in the manual and the 
there's three different settings on it. Uh, change a couple of settings on it just to where it's recording and recording to the SD, not to the um, internal memory and stuff like this. But if you know any little tricks with this camera, let me know. I'll play around with it a little bit more. Um, other than that, that's our my quick little update. Uh, sorry about the delay, you know, uh, technical difficulties. And, um, you know, what we're going to do is uh, as soon as, you know, I try this out a little bit, upload this, edit it, and, uh, you know, get my mind around this thing shooting wider so I can set up the scenes and set up the space properly. Uh, we're going to continue with our discussion regarding personal finance. We're going to talk about economics. And what I'm going to do is uh, as soon as we get about two, three more videos done on the personal finance stuff, uh, I'm going to try to set this camera up and uh, start doing some of the comic book readings that I promised you guys that I was going to do and I'm itching to do. Um, there's a fair, you know, few we got we got to do there's uh, 30 more we got to do right or we want to do or i want to do uh share with you guys so um expect the comic book readings to come up in about three or four videos okay and we're overlay that uh comic book stuff with a lot of mathematics and most likely almost everything we do is going to be sort of with a asmr slant to it okay um uh, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, apologies about the delay. And um, if you do like this work, you know, hopefully this camera, this new camera is going to get us to, instead of 240 plus videos, hopefully up to 500 plus videos. Um, but uh, if you do like this work that's being produced, um, and if you want to see this progress a little bit faster, uh, because there are a few things that I'd like to get going that um, require my full-time attention and additional funds right because uh, this thing you know it does cost a little bit of money to do this uh, unexpected expenses coming up and a lot of time and energy being put into this uh, but if you do have the means if you if you uh, do like this work and look forward to the additional material coming up as soon as possible um, you know best way you can support me definitely by watching definitely by sharing liking and all that jazz uh, and if you do have the means uh, funds wise uh, my patreon page is the best place uh, to support this work if you do have the means to support it with uh, with funds okay and uh, guaranteed all funds will be put to good use okay uh, that's it for now i'll see you guys in the next video